We're here in the butterfly garden, uh, in the botanic gardens, and uh, the plant down at the base of my feet here is another one of the milkweeds here in the butterfly garden. Uh, it's called narrow leaf milkweed, Asclepias fasciculares, and uh, it's not a spectacular looking plant, but this is uh, perhaps one of the most important of the uh, larval host plants for the uh, monarch butterfly. Um, uh, again, very plain looking leaves, nothing spectacular, very narrow uh, leaves. Um, if you uh, were to pull one of the leaves off, you'll see uh, that white latex substance uh, exuding from the leaf. The white sap within uh, the leaves uh, of the milkweed, of all the milkweed species, uh, provides some protection for the monarch butterfly caterpillars. Um, as it consumes the leaves, uh, there's a toxin that builds up within the caterpillars. It does no harm to the caterpillars at all, but it uh, makes the, those caterpillars either poisonous or distasteful to predators that uh, might want to eat them. Um, so it does offer some protection and allows them uh, to increase their chances of survival. Uh, the narrow leaf milkweed is uh, uh, fairly easy to grow. Um, it can spread both by seed and uh, uh, underground. The plant will expand as well. Um, this particular plant has some, um, oops, so there's a milkweed beetle on there as well. Uh, but this particular plant, you can see one of the seed pods that's already uh, dried out and, and opened up. And there's numerous seeds within each pod. They have these uh, feathery tails. Not exactly like dandelions, but the, uh, the same function. Uh, they're dispersed by the wind and how, how the plants uh, will spread, another way that they will spread. So that's it. Again, one of the uh, important butterfly plants, narrow leaf milkweed.